Hello, friends, and welcome back. I actually have three reaction videos coming up. One of a fan film, two of Mr. Star Wars Theory. Uh, just a little little backstory. I actually was just filmed the uh, fan film reaction, um, and I'm at really sh I'm really excited to bring that out. But uh, I was scrolling through, and I saw in some recommended that this video had popped up, and I, it caught my attention. And then I saw the 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 channel that uploaded it, it was Star Wars Theory. And a while ago, um, it was around the time his fan film came out, which I'll do a reaction to because I got to watch it a second time. But it was around the time the sequel or Last Jedi came out. I was actually a big fan of Star Wars Theory up until the sequels came out. Then things kind of took a, a turn. Now, we're not going to get into that right now. So I kind of had just fallen off from his content for a while. I really liked his his fan fictions and, and, and whatnot. So from what I see, this is an opinionated video. There's another one. It's a fan fiction that I wanted to do a reaction to. Um, but yeah, let's let's watch this video titled Why Leia Would Make a Terrible Jedi. Um, and then uh, we'll throw our opinions out at the end. So yeah, let's go. Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is another excerpt from the Star Wars archives by Paul Duncan, episodes four to six. And this one is covering Return of the Jedi. It's an excerpt from Carrie Fisher herself. It's something that she said back in the early 80s when they were filming. And it's something that led me to kind of theorize on. So this is an information video about what she said. And it's also a bit of a theory explanation. You can have some. So it's an opinion so video, not a theory video. Say, so. I always felt Leia had a strength which was more based on anger than a strength that was power. Her strength came from bitterness about wanting to eliminate evil from the universe. So already, you know, there's a little more to this. That's pretty bad, okay? So her insight into Leia, uh, obviously everything came from George Lucas, and of course actors make, you know, their own characters kind of their own, sort of. But everything comes and is directed by the guy who created these characters. And we can see that in her portrayal of Leia. Um, the fact that she thinks that Leia has a little more anger than power to me makes me think that hey if she actually trained to be a jedi she would have been unfreaking stoppable and she probably would have become a dark jedi i don't think she would have become a sith because i think she had very good morals but i think she would have become a dark jedi i think she would have allowed her anger to get the i don't best think dark her. jedi is a I thing i don't know if she was as maybe level-headed as luke skywalker was i believe she would have been more powerful than luke had she trained which is in legends you know tenfold they, they always pretty much say that i mean they even said it in empire strikes back no there is another and leia, leia did train with luke extremely powerful had she trained but she didn't train and it's probably she, for she did train she would have been pretty badass she did she train say her strength came from bitterness about wanting to eliminate evil from the universe all the characters are more developed in return of the jedi it was interesting this time because i wasn't sure how to approach her so all of the directing of course comes from george lucas and yes, we know characters when they act, they sort of take on their own personification of the character that they're playing. And I know, you know, everybody does this, but I also believe that a lot of that comes from the directing. You know, George is standing there. He's corralling every and I know he didn't direct Return of the Jedi, but he has said millions of times in different excerpts, especially in this book, that he felt like he could just step away from it. But if he hired a different director, but he always felt compelled like he had to be watching so he was pretty much on set every single day sort of just you know while someone else was directing but but he was on set every single day even though howard was directing the whole thing and essentially george was kind of just directing him himself too like directing howard almost in in a sense so i feel like he would have had a lot of input to what leia would be like for carrie fisher how she should act for leia that she has a bit of this anger and bitterness about wanting to eliminate evil from the universe so being angry that there is evil in the universe is still being angry i mean you have a moral just reason to be angry for this anger but to be a jedi and to use the force it's anger is never a good thing because it's just going to get out of control and and once you start down that path then forever will it dominate your destiny i believe had she trained with luke then she would have she did train him. with she luke in legends many times that she would have been stronger than him but i don't believe she was as level-headed as he was i think she was more emotional i think she was more angry she was more impatient um which is saying a lot for luke I think if she got all that stuff under control, then she could have been phenomenal. She could have been absolutely amazing. But 
I don't see that happening. I think she was just a little bit too angry at everything going on. And I don't, I, f- I almost feel like her powers were so immense. Her potential was so huge that it would have been really difficult to own those and to really control them. So, I mean, I could see her staying in the light. I don't think she would ever become a Sith, but she would definitely, I believe, tread on the darker path. Maybe sort of like Mace Windu, but maybe even a little darker. And I believe she would have been more powerful. At her potential, of course. I mean, this is the child of Anakin Skywalker. So let me know in the comments, do you think Leia would have made for a really great level-headed Jedi? Or do you think this little bit that she was explaining uh, about Leia that it kind of just sort of explains everything that would have happened had Leia trained in the Force. Uh, She would have just used a lot of that anger, and she had a lot of it. So uh, it's a bit of a dangerous, slippery slope for me. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think down below. Catch you in the next video. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always. Okay, so... Holy crap. So, uh, good morals. Hold on. Let me mute this. I'm going to jump around a little bit. So first of all, Leia did train with Luke. Uh, it's in the rise of Skywalker that she trained. And then she saw that her son would do what he did and she stopped training. So she did train with Luke. Uh, and then dark Jedi don't believe that's a thing if we're going off of what George Lucas has said, that there's Jedi and there's Sith. There's no in-between. Um, this is basically him just saying Leia was angry. Huh. And then um, the whole thing of being angry and being, you know, powerful is Anakin was angry too. Anakin had a lot of, a lot of issues. The Skywalker bloodline itself is... Uh, very angry. <laughs> so there's there's a lot of kind of a lot of nothing here. Like, yeah, she definitely and then him talking a lot about George Lucas, uh George Lucas directing and having input. Of course, it's his it's his product. He's having a lot of input at the time when he owned it. So I don't I don't know. It's really weird. I definitely don't think she would have been a dark Jedi for the simple fact that as far to my knowledge, maybe I'm wrong. Let me let me look it up actually. Let's let's look that up real quick. Dark Jedi, also known as the Fallen Jedi, were force sensitive, frequently former Jedi. So a former Jedi. Frequently former. Um Dark Jedi. Let's look up canon, because we can't go off of Um Our Dark Jedi canon originally answered the Dark Jedi Star Wars canon. No, one Jedi lives by the Jedi code. Does not allow. Okay, so Dark Jedi aren't canon. Um, So there's no such thing as a Dark Jedi. Uh, So yeah, it's just kind of, I mean, like Dark Jedi mentality, maybe. I don't know, but it's like not up into interpretation then. Because like, they don't exist. And even George Lucas was against Gray Jedi. So, huh? It's just really weird. I the the title's a little misleading. Would Leia make a terrible Jedi? Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a lot of just saying she's angry. Weird, but I definitely um. So there's a fan fiction that I saw of his that I'm gonna watch uh because I liked his fan fiction stuff. I really really did. Uh, so I'm gonna watch that. Um, and then I'm going to be uploading the, uh, fan film that I watched and, uh, yeah, if you guys like what you saw. want to see more, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.